make sure I got it. Or oh, is the camera? Right here? There we go. All right, my name is Abby. Hey, What's nice. good with y'all on the live? <laughs> ah, we are at Expo Lounge, yeah. 1928 U Street. And I am here with Mr. Harvey Cash. She came yeah. all the way from Philly. Yes, 215. Yeah, so tell me, tell me, where, where, how did you get into music? Um, I've always just been around music as, like, growing up. Like, my um, my dad, put, he was big on music growing mm -hmm. up. I remember just, like, rapping, like, Ice Cube. And he had, like, we had mm -hmm. the stereo mm -hmm. and a mic, mic hooked up. And I just remember rapping Ice Cube and, like, anybody, <laughs> anybody he liked. And like music was always around me. Like my my cousin, my family's were good singers. Mm -hmm. I couldn't sing, so <laughs> I had to find something. And then when I was bored, I used to be like, "Mom, I'm bored." She was like, "Get out my face, go make a song, <laughs> literally." And I used to go make songs, and uh -huh. and that's how it happened. So, All right. Yeah. Now I wish my mother told me that. You bored? Go go do something with music. Yeah, that's my what's mom. Popping. Yeah, my mom. She definitely. She she had her ways, but she it worked. <laughs> right. All right. So let me see. Like, around what age did you start taking music seriously? Uh, I got into music like late, like mm -hmm. taking it serious. Like, mm -hmm. I want to say like 22, 21. Okay. Yeah, because like I'm 24 now. Mm -hmm. So. I'm, I've always been around music, though, and people always told me, like, dog, get, you got to take it serious. Like, stop yeah. playing. And yeah. I was never, I was trying to get girls and play sports. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I didn't look at music as, as that important. But then I just seen I had it, and I was mm -hmm. like, I got to gotta do it. And I'm yeah. trying to get it. Yeah, see you when y'all boys, y'all young, and y'all like be like, Oh, I, t I just want to get some girls. Yeah. I just want to play ball. Yeah. I just want to be in the NFL, get a contract. Yeah, I just wanted to play ball and get girls. Like, <laughs> I was so, it was horrible. Uh, do you play any instruments? Were you in the band in high school or anything? No, I know how to play the, the, the fucking the djembe, the African drum. Oh, okay. I, I used to play that shit when I was a young boy, yeah. Really? Yeah. My Yo. mom made sure I was, like, all around, well-rounded. So okay. I did a little bit of everything. Yo, that djembe, man. Yeah, I was nice with the hands. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that, that's honestly a skill. You get those calluses right yeah. here. Yo, like, you you really got to be good with the hands right. of the djembe. <laughs> right. Yo, that's funny. Okay, so um, what's your, let us know the name of your recent project or if you're coming out with something and tell us about it. Um, The last project I dropped was called Seven. Mm -hmm. I dropped that, like, summer of 2015. It was, okay. like, based off, like, the seven deadly sins. Mm -hmm. So I just made a song for each one. It's, like, lust, envy, sloth, mm -hmm. greed. Et cetera, et cetera. Gluttony. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I made a track for every every okay. um, sin and had a uh -huh. theme go with it. And that was my latest project. But I'm working on something new. Finna mm -hmm. get ready for the summer. So I'm mm -hmm. getting ready now. Getting a lot of ammo. About to and unload some clips soon. Okay. Yeah. So do you watch anime? Um, not not like I I'm mean, I'm familiar with a lot, but I don't really watch it like I. Oh yeah. Like I should. Well, see, I've been I've been told my anime. I was my like, man's watch it though. He always been trying to put me on for years. Okay. Now tell me something. Vegito or Goku, who's your favorite? Goku. Goku, see, look. I'm, I was Goku like, I'm is the real one. Like, my man came back from the dead. Like, he, he real. <laughs> all right, let me tell you why I got a problem with Goku. I've been trying to get this off my chest. Right, so, Goku fighting, dying, uh -huh. dying while dead, fighting while dead, whatever he doing. Busting nuts and Chi Chi, having babies never there. <laughs> Vegeta stuck by his woman. Vegeta was by Bulma. He was at the birthday. He made sure he was there. That's why I got a problem with Goku. I'm sorry, Goku, but I got You're problems right, with you. You're right, though. My man Vegeta was definitely like... Yes, but Vegeta's was, a real one. Vegeta is a real one. He though. definitely held, his, <laughs> held it down. But when it came to Goku, I was like, nah, but anybody else in Vegeta, I'm like, Vegeta, kick his ass. <laughs> but when it came to Goku, I, I wasn't trying to hear it. I wasn't trying to hear it. Yeah, it's like, well, you know, the fusion, there's some times where Goku couldn't do that. He need to fuse with Vegeta. Who else is he going to fuse with? Like, exactly. He, had, yeah. he, he knew what was up. <laughs> All right, so let me get your top three favorite artists. My top three favorite yeah. artists? Who are your top three favorite artists? Oh, okay. Mm. All right, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you got to see, it's not no disrespect to hip-hop. I love you, but I would say Marvin Gaye. And it changes nice. every time somebody tell me. <laughs> Maxwell and Tony Braxton. Okay. And I was like, I could throw some Erica in there. And I was like, I have to throw somebody ratchet in there, like Trick Daddy or Pimp C or somebody like that. I can respect it. Like, in DMX. It. Like, you know, like, if I could have Maxwell in DMX make an album or have a child, Yo, that was that possible. Yo, that would sound crazy. <laughs> That's what the game is missing. Right? It's like, we need those unorthodox that progressive trap. Yeah. Progressive trap. Yeah. Struggle rap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need DMX to bark on some music yeah. one time. But, like, my favorite... Artist, 
Um, mm -hmm. I, I fuck with Ye as an artist. Okay. Like, he inspires me not even just to do music. Like yeah. I remember the first time I heard the song Fade, I'm like, yo, I gotta mm. I gotta start designing clothes again. You know uh -huh, yeah. I mean? Like it inspired me just like like crazy. Oh mm -hmm. speaking of clothes, wait, wait, I got Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, you got some for us. Oh my goodness. This for me? Oh my goodness, look, I got gifts, guys. This for you, show the live. Hooked her up. Hooked her up with the father figure to you feel me, had to come through. Show some okay. love, DC. I'm gonna wear this tomorrow. Yeah, it had to. I'm, I'm gonna take a picture with it. Everything. I got some black pants yeah, like, with it. Yeah, I'm gonna wear this. I heard. I heard the Kanye drawing. I'm like, yo, it, it inspired me. So he inspired me to yeah. do more than music. Um, so he's one of my favorite artists. Um, Ryan Leslie is another one of my favorite. Oh yes, artists. Ryan Leslie. I saw him in yeah. New York randomly. Damn, I never seen him, but he's a beast. We got the yes. same name. My real name's Ryan. So okay. And we got the. Yo, yeah. did you see that That's video? When he was like shaking the pennies and he's making that beat, yo, yeah, that beast. like he's I'm, a, I'm, he's I'm a real life composer. Yeah, it's like, like oh my god, and yeah. it, it's crazy that um I know Diddy took a Cassie from him. Yeah, I feel like that really affected his his yeah. take off the way. But he was he was supposed to be one of the next. But like, he getting you know? money some a different kind of way now. Yeah. He, he got some. He's he's selling like albums for like five thousand oh, dollars. And yeah. people are buying them. Yeah. Oh my goodness, he good show. Get he, your he, money. He's crazy. He's crazy. He, he got it figured out. He's a smart man. Yeah, so. get your... Because he went to Harvard, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. That boy's smart. He got the best of both worlds, like yeah. education and music. So it's like... All right, so it's Kanye, Ryan Leslie, and The Dream. Mm. Oh, yeah. And know what? Favorite, the Dream is they walking. They're my favorite artists right there. <laughs> so I'm like all of them. But yeah, they my favorite. You know where The Dream is from? He from... Is he from Atlanta, right? He from Atlanta? Yeah, he from Atlanta. I don't know why I was like, he could be from Philly. I no, don't know. No, he's definitely from Atlanta. Music Soul Child from Philly. They, they look like you probably mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Have you seen Music Soul Child before? No, never. You ain't see you ain't see his um his switch to rap? No, he you, raps. What? Oh my god, you didn't see it. Oh my god, let me see. What was the hustle? He changed his name no. to the hustle. You ain't see this? Yo, no, 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 you gotta see this, hold up. And he spelled it like, look, this is how he spelled it. H-U-S-E-L. Yo, mad. no, no, no. If I played you the music, you won't be like, what is going on? Philly, are y'all watching this, Philly? Music Soul Child changed his name to The Hustle. I did not I think know that. He, I think he converted back to Music Soul Child. The fuck? The Hustle. Yo, I think he converted <laughs> back. Like. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure, but yeah, he and then like he released this song and he, he debuted it in like some club in Philly. Wow. Yeah, and it was like <laughs> I was like, okay. Hey. Charlemagne cooked him. He went on the Breakfast Club and got cooked by Charlemagne. The Charlemagne cooks everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, when's your birthday? May 27. What's that, Taurus or Gemini? Gemini, baby. Gemini. I've been interviewing a lot of Gemini's. Y'all, nice. y'all been messing up the planet. I'm blaming all y'all. Um, I I, y'all, y'all are responsible we for just, Trump. You know that, right? We egotistical. We need people to just like tell us. People act like they're scared to tell us shut the fuck up. We so <laughs> outspoken. Like, we the main ones. We need to be told shut the fuck up. But people just get it confused. They're like, no, he might cuss me out. Just, <laughs> Yo, we just gotta throw y'all in trap door sometimes. Yeah, just gotta like shut a nigga up. Like, <laughs> it'll work. Him and Pence are both Gemini's. Imagine two Gemini. You said if you, Prince. Uh, Mike Pence. Oh, Mike Pence. Oh. Mike, the VP. Oh, damn. Now, if, weird. if you were president, wouldn't you want like a sign that could stabilize you, not yeah. two Gemini's? Because if you on your little tick with your opposite personality, damn, and he on even, his tick with his opposite personality. I didn't even think about it that way. That's kind of deep. <laughs> and then Yo. all of a sudden, you know, some shit done happened. Like Russia came in and said, we fucking with y'all today. Y'all pop off. And all of a sudden, we yeah. in war. And the next day, you be like, huh? I didn't even mean it like that. I was like, uh, <laughs> no. Yo, that's crazy. I was um in front of the White House sightseeing and uh -huh. shit, and they a protest just broke out. I mean, like really? 200 people real quick. I'm really? like, what the hell? I lied to you <laughs> not. Like, 200 people just broke out in protest, and I'm just like stuck wow. there. I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna. I ain't know if they was yeah. pro Trump or anti Trump till they got close. <laughs> you feel me? I'm like, what the fuck? Like they about to. Get Oh, yeah, but it oh was my crazy. goodness. I'm like, welcome to D.C. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to tell you that's not a thing, but, like, D.C., I'm from here, so, like, it's a natural, like, we're involved in politics just mm -hmm. on the strength that we here in the capital, and it's like that energy rubs off on yeah. us. So, yeah, I can understand that people feel a certain way right now. That's crazy, uh, yeah. a pop-up protest. Yeah, that's that was that shit was, like, <laughs> out of pocket. I'm like, damn, <laughs> we, we're really in here now. Like, <laughs> you got to slide and out. And it was nowhere for us to go because we were, like, it was, oh, like, a restricted, it was like a restricted area gate. So uh -huh. we, like, in a, we would, like, corner it. Oh, it was no. cool. But 
I was I was feeling them though. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so they let me rock. All right. So you you got anything else you want to tell the people? Um. Follow me on SoundCloud. Oh um, yeah, give us all your social media. SoundCloud, website, Harvey Cash, H A R V E Y Cash, C A S H. Um, stay in YouTube, uh, Harvey Cash, and I'm dropping new music soon, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, everything's everything. It's all right, I know. Bright. I follow you on Twitter. I'll make sure I follow you on Instagram yeah, too. Yeah, follow me on Instagram. Yeah, let me do that. All right, so it's Abby with the Expo Lounge. We are at Women's Motivation Monday. Here we at the Expo, Expo Lounge. We got, Lounge. We got four incredible artists performing for you tonight. Four incredible artists. Harvey is one of I'm them. I'm one of them. So come out if you can. If not, next week, get at us. Every Monday, we here, all right? So this is Abby, Triple Life Radio. We out. Peace.